Welcome back to another episode of Drink Tales. And today, we're going to continue our look into Ancho Reyes Verde. Now, the last time we came to you guys, we tasted this liqueur for the first time. We thought it was delicious. Now what we're doing is we're coming up with a cocktail all on our own to branch out and see what this drink, what this liqueur can really do. So what do you have planned for today? So when I saw this and tasted it and was trying to think about what to do with it, the first, ooh, the first thing that came to mind was to use Mezcal. Mm -hmm. And the reason that being is because there were flavors that I wanted to mix mm -hmm. and I thought these flavors would go well. Okay. I did do some research on this and looked up what kind of cocktails were going on with this Ancho Reyes and a lot of them were tequila forward. Mm -hmm. That being said, I'm going to try the Mezcal and see if this works for what I'm going to do. Okay. So, I guess to get started, we're going to take a shaker and we're going to put the juice of half a lime in because I wanted some citrus in this. I feel like citrus is going to be the best balancer of flavors going on in this okay. because we're going to be doing spicy, sweet, as well as the smokiness from the bath cow. Mm -hmm. So I figure a tart, sour, citrus flavor would balance that out. Okay. My next ingredient is going to be, I'm going to do, lime, not lime juice, I'm sorry. I'm going to do pineapple juice. Now, here's the thing about that. I'm struggling if I should do a half ounce or a whole ounce of the pineapple juice. Mm -hmm. And I'm leaning towards the whole ounce, mm -hmm. basically because I feel like that's going to be the flavor I want to be not the most dominant, mm -hmm. but it's that primary, it's that primary flavor that's not an alcohol. Okay. I'll do... You know what? I'm gonna do a whole ounce. One full ounce of pineapple juice. Next up, I'm going to do half an ounce of agave nectar. Agave nectar goes very well with the mezcal mm -hmm. as a sweetener. Since pineapple juice is sweet already, I don't want to overwhelm. Mm -hmm. I don't want to overwhelm the drink with a lot of sweetness. So we're just gonna have the agave nectar, and we're gonna put a little bit in there just to complement all the other flavors and kind of help them meld together. Okay. So we're doing half an ounce of that. Next up, I'm going to do two ounces. No, I'm sorry, not two ounces. An ounce and a half of the mask count. Okay. And last but not least, we have our ancho reyes. We're going to do half an ounce of the ancho reyes. Mm -hmm. And the reason I'm doing that is because based off of our previous episode and our taste test, mm -hmm. that flavor is overpowering. I don't want it to be too spicy. I don't want that flavor to be too dominant. Mm -hmm. I want a uh, heat. Uh, understated heat to the drink mm -hmm. if not understated I don't want it to be I don't want that heat to be too strong that it is off-putting for anyone that's tasting the drink mm -hmm. we're gonna add our ice and we're gonna do a shake and we're gonna strain Now, is there a reason you 
chose to fill your glass with ice already instead of being. I see this as a cool summer drink. Mm. So I figure the ice already being in it instead of it being a a neat drink mm -hmm. that you put in a little small fancy glass. I'm thinking you pack this with ice. Maybe this goes in a Collins glass. Mm -hmm. If not this type of glass, mm -hmm. you pack it with ice. You pour it in there. You put your straw in there and your garnish, whatever that may be. Right now, I'm thinking maybe a pineapple and a manichiro cherry okay. or a poblano. Since or we're using not all three. <laughs> that, that is a thing that can happen. So, you tell me what you think and... This is good. Um, I'm definitely tasting the mezcal. Mm -hmm. This is really good. I would bump this up a little bit more because this is lost. This is lost. Really? Mm -hmm. I'm getting the sweet. I'm even getting the lime. I'm getting the mezcal. There it is. There's that heat. And that was another thing too. There was no heat. Now there's heat to it. Okay. And it doesn't damper the flavor, damp no. the flavor or anything like that. That is good. Okay. And I already kind of got a name for it. What you thinking? Cause I think I got a name for it too. I was thinking the chili slushy. Grilled pineapple. Okay, girl pineapple. girl pineapple. You get the smoky flavor from the mask cow. Mm -hmm. You get the pineapple mm -hmm. taste. Mm -hmm. You get the heat from mm -hmm. the poblano. Mm -hmm. And you get the sweetness from all the other ingredients in there. Mm -hmm. And that sourness, and the, well not sourness, the citrus balances out all of the flavors. Mm -hmm. So, how much uh, of the poblano did you put in there initially? I did a half ounce. So what would you change? How you much bump would it you? up to a full ounce? Okay. That's really good. Mm -hmm. And it's great for summer. Mm -hmm. It's great for summer. Like and it and it 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 is one more. For anyone watching this, you know, we're, we always put the recipe below. Mm -hmm. uh, for anyone watching this, this is a great, this is a great recipe to add to your arsenal for summertime. This is that quintessential uh, sitting, sitting on the deck because there's a barbecue type situation going on and drinking this or sitting outside at the beach mm -hmm. yeah it, it could be a good beach drink too at one of those beach bars mm -hmm. yeah that's that's definitely something you would get at a, at like a beach bar go down to like florida or california or mm -hmm. something like that i want a beach bar i want to own a beach bar so there we have it what was the name again uh Wow, I forgot just like that. The grilled pineapple. Grilled, grilled pineapple. The grilled pineapple. Uh, I think that's one of your best ones yet, to be honest with you. Okay. That'll do it for this episode of Drink Tales. 
be sure to like and subscribe be sure to check us out hit that bell so that you can get updates on every video that we post up you know we always do Wednesday and Saturdays uh, check us out on Twitter check us out on Instagram and until next time peace